because we haven't discussed this since it went down on Friday, last Friday. Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much. Chadwick Bozeman has passed away suddenly and shockingly. And it's been a very hard, uh, f- currently, five days for um, for pretty much everybody. Because this this one hit me hard. This one hit me hard. I don't think I've been hit, like, outside of Stan Lee, probably hit this hard since Robin Williams. And that probably was, more so because this guy is, is is young and he's just he was just starting a career and, and he's just like an amazing was an amazing human being like all together right yeah. to to shoot all these movies like Black Panther Civil War two Avengers and then like three or four other movies on top of that well fighting stage three colon cancer and not telling anyone about it. And then spending his off time with sick kids in the hospital. Like, it gives me chills to think that there was a, a human that good out there and they were taken away that soon. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. I agree. Now, I'm not going to uh, BS any of the Geek Panthers out there. I wasn't hit as hard when I found out. Was, like, I was saddened because, I mean, I, I want everyone to live forever. Yeah. Um. But it was afterwards when I found out, like like you said, that he had been battling this in secret, and he was doing everything he could to uh, honor the character as well while he was battling, while he was, you know, and losing the battle. So yeah. you're right, like so that's the part where I was starting to go, oh my god, like it was like, like I was sad that we lost uh, Chadwick Boseman, but even sadder when you find out how great of a guy he really was yeah you know um it was it was a rough one it was a it rough was, one yeah even after the fact for me well it, it's just like no one saw it coming like a few months ago there were some pictures of him online where he looked really really thin like really thin yeah. in the face and the body they were like talking people, about possible drugs or yeah. if this is for a role and that, no that, my first thought was it was for a role because we've seen that so was many my actors do this, right? Just drop everything. My immediate so, thought was, oh, this guy's like hanging out with Christian Bale. This is the school of Christian Bale's acting where you, yeah. you gain weight, lose weight, you yeah. know? Um, so, yeah, to, 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 I had a great Friday um, last week there with my, uh, my brother and my dad and everything. I went to the movies. Hit some balls at the driving range, everything got back to their place, and I just, you know, opened up Facebook, and first thing I saw was was Chadwick. Wait, you said you went to the movies? What'd you see? Um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, you went to Bueller's. the drive-in, oh, the drive-in, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I was gonna say like that totally. I was like, you lying to me in our previous conversations before our <laughs> campcast? Like, how dare no, you? No, w- the driving range is like way out there by Marillo, so. We- we got yeah. done at like eight gotcha. or eight thirty, and just hey, let's do it. So yeah. it was great. It was it was a lot of fun. But um, yeah, definitely got hit uh, by uh, some sad news there when we got back. It was crazy. Well, yeah, like because I I was up and I was I was watching SmackDown and, and I was like, oh, and I I messaged you like, oh, Roman Reigns is aligned with Paul Heyman, and yep. then I think it was like maybe a half an hour hour later, and I'm like. Oh, and Chadwick Boseman died. And I was like, holy. F-. Yeah, and I'm out at the lake, so I got no cell service. So I was trying to write through Messenger to you. I, I and It didn't look like it was going through. So I was like, well, frick. Can't it didn't. Get a hold of him. No, yeah. No. So I got all your messages like the next morning on my way back. It was like, ding, Roman Reigns. And then ding, Chadwick passed away. Yeah. Harvey Weinstein is huh. still alive, but Chadwick Boseman isn't. Like, what the fuck? That's right. I I, I said. I, I'll, I'll never understand uh, the reasoning how people's uh, numbers get picked. I, it just it makes no sense to me. I don't know. It's well, I mean, if you're religious, it was his time. Yeah, you know. I mean, God I'm really not a plan but... for him, and his plan involved taking him from us. That's you know, if you're religious. Um, I think if, if you're not, I mean, it's just, that's just how it is, Yeah, you know? <clears throat> yeah, but it, it's, it's nuts. Like I've over social media and everything, like just 
this is huge around the world, him passing. Like, it's massive. Like, you know, he was um, the superhero of a generation um, for so many, um, well, so, so many black kids, but even white kids or any color kid. I mean, like, Black Panther is such yeah, a regal, was... amazing character that, a and transcendent way, character. Yeah, the way Chadwick played him, um, you know, and then even outside, like the way he met kids and signed autographs and everything, he looked like a king outside of the movie too, you know, so. Yeah, he very much like, he's uh, he's one of those ones where when, when people say that they got the character and they understood the character, sometimes I go, yeah, you know, they, they understood the character. Other times I'm like, nah, I don't really think he did. Yeah. Um, he was one that I, I was was like, yeah, he, he got the character. Um, you know, like Christian Bale, it was one of those where like, you were like, yeah, no, he really got the character. He understood what it meant to portray that character mm-hmm. on and off the screen, you know? Yeah. Uh, you know? Chris Evans is another one where I, I feel like- Absolutely. Really understood what it meant to be that character and then what it meant to do these things on and off the screen. Because yeah. obviously, like, uh, Chadwick didn't have to do any of those things. No. You know? Uh, I've heard rumors that you're contractually obligated to do those things. Like, Disney wants you to do those things, and you have to do those things. Um, and even if that's the case, I, I feel like he would have met his um, meet-and-greet quota a long time ago. So Ooh, yeah. This oh, yeah. is all just him just doing it because he's that kind of person yeah. or was that kind of person. Yeah. It's going to take a while to get used to that. I mean, and, and like, and, and no one knew like outside of his wife, no one knew. Like I just, well, I that was one thing that I thought was really interesting was that like they made it that way so that they were the ones that could control the story. So yeah. there was none of this TMZ bullshit or any of that. It was just, he was surrounded by his loved ones you know and that's how he went and it's like yeah okay great i literally just read an article um and they were talking to kevin feige um he said on august 28th the the night that he passed away he said he received um an email um saying call chadwick and everything because like chadwick hadn't even told him um because up to this point he he just always thought i'm gonna fight this i'm gonna do black panther too right it, which is the perfect mentality to have. Right. And then like you know, I would hope that if came. anything like hap- that happened to me, that would be my thought process. Yeah. So like he he just he finally realized I'm not gonna make it, reached out, and then by the time Kevin Feige got the message, which was like an hour later, it was too late. He was already passed. So it's nuts. Yeah. Yeah, you never know. Crazy. You never know how long you have. No, you don't. That's why, uh, as as hokey as it sounds, you got to live life to your fullest every freaking day. You know. Yep. You got to be good. You got to be kind, and just wait. wait. Be good. You got to be kind. Be good. You got to be, be wiser. Got to be wiser. Mm-hmm. All of it. All that. All that B stuff. Yeah. You get the reference. You got to be good. Got, but I, I said good. Oh yeah, cool. okay. You got you got to sing it. You got to sing it. Okay, I got to know. That's right. There yeah. you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. All jokes aside, just be humans. Like this whole us versus them mentality. Like it, it's it really is tearing us apart. It really is, and we need to be better than that. Yeah. We need to, you know, like Black Panther. Like, uh, not Black Panther. Sorry, Chadwick Boseman. Like was all about just being a good person and then spreading that to other people. Exactly. Can you imagine how many of these kids, like if they actually end up no longer being terminal or whatever their cases may be, how their lives will be different and better because of the extra work that he did for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's crazy. It is. It is crazy. It's so good. And I just, I mean, like it's, it's upsetting that this, this fantastic, man is gone and it, it's sad that so much of uh, geekdom is just really not being good humans like you just said automatic thoughts are well what's happening with black panther or or you know they're throwing all their black panther comics on ebay for hundreds of dollars like and trying to benefit off this it's sickening it's it's sickening that 
That's everyone's number one concern. I wouldn't say that those people are fans. No, no, it's it's. I wouldn't even put them in the category of geeks. Like I know I wrote an article about how we, as all of geeks, like whatever our respective corners, uh, should look to our respective loves as a way to to better ourselves and others around them. Yeah. But the second that you start saying things like, oh, well, what's going to happen with this? Or I'm going to start selling this because it's going to be worth this. It's like, you're not really a fan. You're just. No. You're uh, you're a cosplayer. That's it. Yeah. That's all. You're not really into it. I don't yeah. even want to use the term cosplayer because I don't have any disrespect for cosplayers. Uh, you're just. You're into the profit side of it. Yeah. You're into the stoking that, the, the trolling it. aspects of it. It's just it's all the negative aspects of people in general you know like it's the same for the guys that like uh kobe bryant passed away and all of a sudden they're selling all their kobe bryant stuff they're not really fans they're just in it for the money yeah, yeah. it's disgusting it's is what it, it really is, is disgusting. disgusting it really and is it's disgusting. inhuman i check out it's this inhuman. website i check out this website all the time called key collector comics where they they put out the new values of the comics that are that are hot at the moment and of course. immediately, less than 24 hours later, it was just full of like um, the Chadwick photo variant covers from Black Panther. And uh, the first appearance is as Shuri as Black Panther because hit it now while it's hot because she's going to be the new Black Panther. Get rich, you know, and just, yeah, what the, f- what the f- is wrong with you people? Like, I, I know I, just, I, I, I caught understand. that a bit too, where like, I, understand I actually saw uh, a couple of comments where they were like, yes. Finally, we can have Suri as the or Shuri as the new Black Panther. And I was like, "Whoa, wow! Could you have worded that any worse?" Yeah. And to be honest with you, I don't know if we're going to see a Black Panther two now. I, I mean, that's to me, that's a lot. That should be the last of everyone's concern. I mean, but that's what I mean. Like for me, it was, it's just because we're talking about it that I'm like, you know what? As I'm saying this, I'm like, I don't think there is going to be a, a Black Panther two anytime soon and even if if there is like it obviously depends on what they were able to shoot or whatever but it's like well apparently they were still in the writing stages so yeah so i mean like yeah i don't doubt that chadwick would have been the guy that would said yeah like we need to move forward and and have the movie regardless of what happens to me i don't doubt that for a second but i'm with you where that shouldn't be the thought on people's minds no they should be looking at what he's done and say, well, how can I do that in my life? How can I spread that light around? Exactly. That's what everyone should be taking from this. Just like, I, I, don't, I don't know, like, oh, uh, so many beautiful tributes online right now. Like, fantastic artwork by people. My brother, did you see James' artwork? I mean, he did. No, not yet. Show. No, he put together a really nice Chadwick uh, tribute. I saw this great picture tonight um, of this this little this little black kid. And, you know, he's doing the Wakanda thing um, and he's got all his Marvel toys, yes. like his, his movie yeah. toys circled. I saw that Black too. Panther laying down in the middle. And just like that image alone, it's like, oh, yeah, it really hit me that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know what you mean. I just I, I can't that, imagine. That I can't imagine. Ones that got I can't imagine what it's like, you know, for for these young kids that got to see this Black Panther and he, they love him now. This is this is their superhero. Like. Imagine like us as kids where like we watch Michael Keaton as Batman and then like a year later he's dead. Like that would I was just that thinking would the same thing like kill if, me. That would kill me as a kid, you know. Well, exactly. Like if if uh Superman, mm. you know. Well, even that I Christopher Superman. Reeve when Christopher Reeve passed away, that was hard. And that was even that was that, hard I mean, when he passed away. It was hard when he was paralyzed, but I mean I couldn't imagine, you know, being like six, seven year old Chris, not even four four yeah. or five year old Chris yeah. watching Superman and like loving Superman so much. And then the next year finding out that he's dead, like the actor that played him, it would, it'd be crushing. Right. Because so the I kids don't see Chadwick Boseman. They see Black Panther, you know? Yeah. They see my hero. Yeah, exactly. So now yeah. anyway, um, super sad, super, super sad. I don't know what's going to happen with Black Panther and I really don't care. Um, and and it it really hit me hard too because I mean like the two of us are damn close to that age now. It's like you know what, being miserable every day at work and shit, you got to be happy, right? Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah, like I don't know. 
I don't know. There's a lot to take away from it. But uh, regardless, a really good man is gone, and it sucks. Mm -hmm. A great man. Uh, what is it? Proud King? <laughs> Proud King, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, rest in power. I like yeah. that. I like that rest in power, King. Yep. Yeah. I've been seeing yeah, everyone say uh, that. That's also nice. And uh, there's also Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever. Chadwick Boseman Forever. <laughs>